to a very interesting piece. Uh, Kenyans should increase uh, their coffee intake farmers from fluctuating prices in the international market. Coffee companies have organized a barista championship to showcase coffee products with the aim of attracting youthful consumers. Building on turning around the coffee value chain. Among other strategies, the players in the coffee value chain are calling for increased local consumption that stands at less than 5% of the total coffee produced. Coffee companies relying on exports exposes Kenyan farmers to limited markets and global price shocks. Local coffee farms have organized a national barista competition to showcase various coffee products. Where the coffee world is going, it's really innovative and encouraging to the youth because it's more into innovations and technology and experimentation. So most of the farmers who are coming back to coffee are the people who are very knowledgeable in terms of chemistry and they're trying to know, to know what they can do better in terms of processing, a new innovation in the farm level, which we cannot leave it to the, the elderly who have uh, showed us the way. The competition is aimed at attracting the youth to embrace coffee. The benefits of the championship to the coffee industry is very simple. So we are, like you can see the location where we are hosting these events. It attracts more people who don't know about coffee. Everyone wants to know about coffee, the machines we are using, the barista profession, and even the youth who are around. They want to know a barista as a career to look up to when they grow. In coffee we usually have a lot of activities going on so if uh, these uh, activities can be done here in Kenya like any other country which have coffee it can be really amazing because we'll put more words out there about coffee uh, we'll educate more people about coffee and also we'll have more people drinking coffee and even venturing into coffee industry. The winner of the competition will represent Kenya at the World Coffee Barista Championship in Greece this year. We can encourage even more of the local stakeholders to come together and make this event a big thing because it's all about one thing, one product, which is Kenyan coffee. Elsewhere, over 50,000 tea and coffee farmers from the county of M and Kirinyaga are said to be trained on crop diversification by the Rainforest Alliance. To help our farmers do diversification because tea alone is having a big load on uh, farmers. So if we do diversification on avocados and other items like uh, goat farming, I think the farmers will benefit. Tea factories management from the two counties say climate change, high cost of production and low prices has seen farmers earning window. Also climate change. So ideally at farm level we target uh, farmers to ensure they are able to adapt to climate change. When they adapt to climate change, they are able to produce better quality tea, which will fetch higher price. Benson Ruba reporting for Lunchtime News.